Hi everyone, I would like to show you how I use Firefly and if you haven't tried it before you can go to firefly.adobe.com website and it's still in beta so it's free to use you just need Adobe ID which is just free to get if you go to the website and you don't have an ID it will ask you for it and you can make it so when you are on the website you can uh, try these different things. There is text to image, there is generative fill, text effects, and generative recolor. And also there are these in exploration things, which keep an eye on them. They're quite exciting and they're coming soon. So, but today I will focus on this two text to image and generative fill. So the way I use it, I go to uh, text to image and I press generate and you know what I like about it is that if you've never used AI it's if it's your very first time or if you never used Firefly and you don't know how to prompt it you can just scroll through and find something you like and you can iterate on it you can modify that prompt and just learn from it because all of those images you can see the prompt so let's go and see something that kind of that you like um, i quite like this glowing river in a cave and you can press on it and look look at this beautiful images you can get so on the right there are different options you can play with and what I like doing is that I like changing like, aspect ratio, for example, for landscape, um, because I share a lot of images on uh, the X app, uh, former Twitter, and I like them to be um, landscape resolution or landscape format. So here, I absolutely love those images. But I also feel like I want to make them a little bit my own. I was recently reading um, The Wizard of Oz, and it's a book my dad used to read for me when I was a kid. So I thought I will just bring my own kind of spin on it, and I will add uh, to this prompt a uh, glowing river in a cave with a lot of emeralds. And I'm hoping to get this kind of like green um, glow, something like that. This is how I imagine it. And here we are. We get. I got pretty excited by this. And you know what? This one is probably my favorite image because I can see how there is this rock. And I wish there was like a person standing on this rock and maybe like I can play around it and add a person with generative fill. And usually, you know, sometimes I would just prompt and add a person with a prompt, but then it will change the entire composition and I really, really like this image. So what I'm going to do instead is I will select this pen at the top left corner and I will select generative fill and it will just take me to this page with generative fill and you can see there is a brush uh, but I think it's rather big if you go to brush settings you can change the size you can also kind of change hardness I will make it a little bit softer brush um, and then I will just kind of like uh, take uh, this I actually want to check if I think it shall be zero zero yes absolutely yes I constantly forget about it because um, I don't know why I just keep forgetting so if it is zero it's soft if it's a hundred percent it's super hard and you want it to kind of to be rather soft because you want your edges to blend really well with the environment so i did this and then i am going to completely embarrass myself because i have problems spelling the world silhouette so i will do my absolute best 
I think it's something like this. Oh, as you can see, I completely messed it up. A silhouette of a man wearing a hood facing away from the camera. And now I will just try to to generate this. And I can see my face, I had to move me myself, sorry for that. Um, maybe I shall always put myself at the, at the top of <laughs> my tutorials. And here we are, we got like several people. And I think because my selection was so big, I actually, I, I got them a bit too big for my taste. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cancel this and I'm going to clear uh, the selection and I will do the selection again. I just will make it much smaller because I want like a tiny, rather tiny character over here. And I will just do it again. And this is great. I don't have to write my prompt again because that would be really uh, not so good. All right, uh, we got some different um, men and I don't really like any of them. And I think because of the shape, it tries to make it like uh, a certain way. But you know what? I actually really like it. I love the, um, I actually love it. This is not what I wanted to do. I wanted him to just stand in a hoodie. But now when I got it, I actually feel so great. Um, I'm going to keep it and then I am going to try and maybe add that will be I don't know if it's gonna work but I really will try I'm just going to add a cat here let's see let's see like a black cat sitting on a rock something like this and let's see what it is going to do because I think it's such a kind of small uh, piece. No, I actually really love it. Look how cool is that? Yeah, here it is. The cat is looking at him. Okay, this is completely, yeah. So I'm very, very happy with it. I will say keep. And now I will move myself again to the bottom and I can press download and it will tell me different things about transparency and all of that stuff. And now I just want to open it and to look up close. So here we are. And you know, um, what I really like about it is that it's like we generated this and we could work more on it because here I see that over here, I would probably do some more generator fill to blend it in. But here we get the cat and we get this person and in my next tutorials, I will show you how you can make like a story about them or how you can take the same kind of environment and expand it and make like a comic book about this person and a cat he met in an emerald cave. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial. Please ask me any questions if you have any in comments and I will be happy to answer. And yeah, have a good day.